Hello everyone, my name is Squad and this is going to be a very long video showing you all the ephemeras you can get in Warframe for free, which means you don't have to waste any platinum on them. This may not be a full list since new ephemeras may come along with the future updates, but right now there are 41 that are obtainable. You can farm the ephemeras up, some a bit easier and some quite a bit harder or pretty much almost impossible. And I absolutely forgot, if you don't know what an ephemera is, it is a visual effect that can be added to your Warframe under the appearance menu in your customization. But yeah, I will tell you exactly how to get the ephemeras while I show them off. There are many kinds of ephemeras, some will only emit effects if you walk, some are event specific, some can only drop from specific enemies or missions, and for this I decided to group them together so you know exactly which kind of ephemera I am talking about. And I also added sections to the video so you can skip some if you don't like them. But yeah, let's start with the ephemeras you can get in the game at any time. Bleeding Body Ephemera does not look that good in my opinion. It uses fluid from you that looks like slime. You can get the blueprint for it from the Arbiters of Hexes Arbitrations vendor for 30 Vitus Essence. The blueprint after that requires 1 million credits, 10,000 Kuva, Garuda Systems and 1 Vitus Essence. Yeah, it is quite expensive. Blazing Step Ephemera will summon flames behind your step. The blueprint for it can drop from the Captains and Commanders of Grenier Galleons in Railjack missions. Or you can buy the blueprint for it from the Arbitrations vendor. For crafting it you will need 1 million credits, 100 Morphics, Ember Systems and 1 White Assassins. The Seeding Step Ephemera will seed grass behind your step. You can get it from Rotation C of the Arbitrations with a 5% drop chance, which is actually quite easy to get. I have 13 of them. To craft the Ephemera you will need 1 million credits, 50 Lunar Pitchers, Oberon Systems and 1 Light Assassins. Trio Orbit will spawn three orbs that will circle around you at fast speeds. You can get it from Teshin for three steel essence, which is dirt cheap. Crania Ephemera manifests two dragons that encircle your Warframe. You can buy it from Teshin for 85 Steel Essence, which is not that bad for how it looks. It is already built, so your fashion frame can commence as soon as you get it. Smoking Body Ephemera looks quite well on some Warframes, especially if you are going for a dark feeling. The blueprint for it can drop from the Shadow Stalker with a drop chance of 5%, which means about 20 successful encounters with him should get you one. The blueprint then requires 1 million credits, 25 Oracle Cells, Ash Systems and 1 Vitus Essence. The Fog of War Ephemera looks extremely freaking nice. I sadly cannot show it at the moment since I do not have it, but I do know where to get it. 
You can buy it from Chipper at Carl's Garrison for 45 stock, which is not that bad. If you don't have Carl's Garrison yet, you first need to complete the Veilbreaker quest. Freezing Step Ephemera will spawn Ice Candles behind your step. You can get the blueprint for it from the Exploiter Orb with a 5% drop chance. You then need to craft it as well, for which you will need 1 million credits, 20,000 cryotic, frost systems and 1 white assassins. The shocking step ephemera will spark electricity behind you every time you step on the ground. You can get the blueprint for it from the Exploiter Orb boss fight with a 5% drop chance. The blueprint then also has to be crafted, which will take 1 million credits, 100,000 circuits, vault systems and 1 Vita Assassins. Tenebrous Ephemera will add an ash-like effect to your Warframe. It looks quite nice, but it really depends on the Warframe colors you use. You can get it from the Little Duck for 15 Anomaly Shards, which is quite expensive, not gonna lie. Wrap Twig Ephemera adds a couple of living metal arms to your Warframe and also a bunch of void visual effects. You can get the blueprint for it from Cavalero for 30,000 Holdfast Standing at tier 5. You then also need to craft it with 10,000 credits, 5 Void Plume Pinions, 15 Void Gel, 5 Entrati Landhorns and 150 Thrax Plasm. Seraphire Ephemera adds some living metal around your arms, which looks extremely nice. Besides that, it also adds some void visual effects. You can get it from Cavalero for 30,000 Holdfast standing at tier 5 with the Holdfasts. To craft it, you will need 10,000 credits, 5 void plume pinions, 15 void gel, 5 entrati landhorns, and 150 thrax plasm. The next 14 ephemeras are specific to the Sisters of Parvos or the Kuva Liches. Each time you get yourself a nemesis, it has a 20% chance to come with an ephemera. The ephemera kinds also depend on the progenitor warframe, the warframe you kill the larveling or the candidate with. A list of all the progenitor warframes is right here on the screen right now, but more may be added in the future. When you vanquish or convert your nemesis, you will get the ephemera. I will tell you which ephemera you get with each status type, so let's first go over the Kuval Lich's ephemeras. Vengeful Charge Ephemera makes your Warframe spark with electricity and can be obtained from the electricity status effect Kuval Lich. Vengeful Chill Ephemera makes your Warframe spawn Cold Mist. It can be obtained from the Cold Status Effect Kuvalich.
Vengeful Flame Ephemera makes your Warframe spawn Sparks of Fire. It can be obtained from the Heat Status Effect Kuvalich. Vengeful Pull Ephemera makes your Warframe spawn sparks that will go in and out of your Warframe. It can be obtained from the Magnetic Status Effect Kuvalich. Vengeful Shockwave Ephemera will add a few flying rocks around your Warframe that will not move. It can be obtained from the Impact Status Effect Kuvalich. Vengeful Toxin Ephemera will add a Toxic Mist around your Warframe. It can be obtained from a Toxic Status Effect Kuvalich. Vengeful Trickster Ephemera will add a fading effect to your Warframe. It can be obtained from a Radiation Status Effect Kuvalich. This Ephemera is one of Quad's favorites and deserves the Quad Sticker of Approval. Yay! <laughs> And that is it about the Kuvalich Ephemeras, now let's go over to the Sisters of Parvos Ephemeras. If I pronounce any of the names wrong, I am terribly sorry in advance. Sibilina Ephemera will summon stock price report charts that will fly around you. This is a Crypto Bros Dream Ephemera, you can get it from the Electricity Status Effect Sister of Parvos. Gloriana Ephemera adds a hologram behind your Warframe and a few holographic bracelets to its hands. You can get it from Cold Status Effect Sister of Parvos. Zarina Ephemera will display a holographic skirt, a holographic halo and two holographic shoulder pads around your Warframe. It looks amazing. You can get it from the Heat Status Effect Sister of Parvos. Solena Ephemera will summon a few balls that will fly around you and will pulsate with energy. You can get it from a Magnetic Status Effect Sister of Parvos.
Kiruna Ephemera will add a few objects that fly around you and resemble a holographic shield. You can get it from Impact Status Effect Sister of Powerboss. Lucretia Ephemera will outfit you with a holographic triangle on your back, two bracelets on your arms and two shoulder holograms. You can get it from Toxin Status Effect Sister of Parvos. Hypatia Ephemera will add a few objects that fly around your Warframe. I do not know how to describe it exactly. You can get it from Radiation Status Effect Sister of Parvos. And yeah, that is it about the Kuvaliches and the Sisters of Parvos Ephemeras, now let's go to Nightwave. Eidolon Ephemera adds visual effects of the Eidolon to your step. It can appear as a reward among the Nightwave reward pool, but the chance of it appearing is quite low. Spore Ephemera looks quite bad if you ask me. It will spawn infested masses on the ground and will give you a terrible visual effect. But that is just me being grumpy, I think. I don't like it. You can get the Spore Ephemera if it is in the reward pool of the current Nightwave event. Waveform Ephemera will show an audio wave around you that pulsates with your favorite tunes. You can get it from the Nightwave reward pool if it comes with it, so yeah, it is a waiting game with this one. The next Ephemeras can be found at Barrokitir if he brings it with him. Faypath Ephemera is a weird one. It spawns feathers and orbs of light from the ground. I do not know where they come from, but okay. If you are a PC player, you get it by enabling the two-factor authentication of your Warframe account. However, if you are on Xbox, PlayStation or Switch, you can get it for 1000 credits and 15 ducats every time Barrokitir comes by. Kitir Ephemera spawns rhombus-shaped objects out of nothingness and adds some visual effects to your Warframe. You can get it from Barrow Kitir for 150,000 credits and 100 ducats if he brings it with him, which is quite rare. Lotus Ephemera is one of my favorite Ephemeras in the game. It spawns lotus flowers that gently fall to the ground. You can get it from Barrow Ketir for 450,000 credits and 250 ducats, if he brings it with him, so it's a hoping game.
But yeah, that is it about the ephemeras you can get from Barrowketeer. Now let's go over the event ephemeras. The Easter ephemera spawns eggs behind you as you walk. You'll be able to get it from the market for 5000 credits after the first week of April. At the end of Easter or spring, I have no idea, this ephemera will disappear. So you won't have it in your inventory anymore and I can't show it because of that. The Dog Days Ephemera gives you a floaty that will sadly be deleted from your inventory after the Dog Days event is over. You can buy it from Nakak for 1 Nakak Pearl, which means it is worth absolutely nothing. And I also cannot show it because it is not Dog Days at the moment. The Soaker Ephemera spawns fish around you and little bubbles, which means that it is the best Ephemera in the game. You can buy it from Nakak for 700 Nakak Pearls during the Dog Days event. And yes, this ephemera does have the quad sticker of approval. Yay! The Nabarus Ephemera spawns bats from you, which is great for Halloween. And it also is obtainable from Nabarus, the Warframe Halloween event, for 45 Mother Tokens. You will need to buy the blueprint for it, but will then also have to waste 10,000 credits, 1,000 Kuva and 5 Kondrok Wings, which shouldn't be that hard to get. Nightless Ephemera is the real deal since it makes you a dragon, or a demon, I can't choose. It gives you wings. You can get the already built Ephemera from the daughter during the Nabarus event in Warframe for 200 mother tokens, which is quite inexpensive for such an Ephemera. Spinnert Ephemera adds spider webs to your Warframe that can glow if you color them. You can get the full build sandana for 150 mother tokens from the daughter during the Nabarus event. It is quite nice if you are not an arachnophobe. Aeroswings Ephemera gives you wings, which look like... wings. You can get it for 35 training debt bonds from the ticker during the Star Days event. And there is also a chance of it appearing in the Nightwave reward pool, which is weird but good. Frostfall Ephemera spawns a cloud over you that will generate snow. It will also give you a freezing visual effect. You can buy it from Ticker during the Star Days event for 5 medical debt bonds, which is actually quite cheap. Conquera Ephemera can be obtained while the quest to conquer cancer event is active. It looks downright glorious and also has a good cause.
And yeah, that is all the ephemeras you can get for free. It is absolutely insane how many there are. I think it's 40, not 41 as I said in the beginning, because I doubled one of them in the script. So yeah, I'm sorry for that. I wonder which one is your favorite? Tell me in the comments below. My favorites are the Lotus, Soaking and Vengeful Trickster Ephemeras because they look extremely nice with the color palettes I use. But with this I thank you for watching, please like, comment, share or maybe even subscribe and also have a very nice day. Bye guys!